or rejoice and be glad. And this is the 90 days of glory experience. And God's word is coming to us today. And the title of this message is Victory. And can I say this to you? In Jesus, your victory was settled. It doesn't matter the situation contending with you. Your victory came before the situation. Your victory came before the situation. We are called to live in victory. A life of victory is the life that is consistent with God's will. You were not called to be dominated by situations. You were not called to be dominated by sickness and by disease. You were called into a life of victory. And living in victory begins with recognizing your victory. Living in victory begins with recognizing your victory. If you don't recognize your victory, you can't live in victory. You have to recognize that the victory of Jesus is your victory. The victory of Jesus is your victory. We can boldly say, nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror. Why are we saying we are more than a conqueror? It is because of what Jesus accomplished through his finished work. Now we declared that we are more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror because our faith is resting in the finished work of Jesus. Our faith is resting in the finished work of Jesus. And that is the reason we can boldly declare that we are more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus, we are called to manifest victory. We're not called to accept defeat. When David stood before Goliath, everyone in the natural believed that Goliath will have a victory over David. Those who operate from the natural dimension get limited by oppositions. Those who operate from natural dimension get limited by oppositions. But David was a man of the Spirit. David represents a man of the Spirit. So when he saw Goliath, he never saw him as a problem. It is important that you look at your situations from the perspective of God's word. It's important that you look at your situations from the perspective of God's word. David never saw Goliath as a threat. He never saw him as an opposition. Because David's communication was an expression of a man who trusts God. It doesn't matter what the challenges is right now. It doesn't matter what the challenges is. You can break free 
you can have victory. Don't let how you feel stop you from believing what is right. Don't let how you feel. I was in church this evening. I was ministering to our brethren and I made a statement about healing. When you receive your healing, stop looking at feeling. Focus on what you believe. A lot of people focus on feeling until they lose their healing. Don't focus on how you feel. Focus on what you believe. What you believe is more important than how you feel. Most people are feeling minded. But God wants me to be victory minded. And when you are victory minded, your faith will flourish. If you're victory minded, your faith is going to flourish. How is my faith going to flourish? Is when I am victory minded. Jesus is the source of our victory. The victory of Jesus is your victory. Think victory. Focus on your victory in Christ. Don't focus on your inability. Don't focus on your limitation. Don't focus on your struggle. Focus on who you are in Christ. This is how you manifest victory. A lot of people get worried about their situation, about what people think about them. No. No. Focus more on your victory in Christ. Cultivate what is called victory mentality. Cultivate victory mentality. If you cultivate victory mentality, no situation will keep you away from your inheritance. Cultivate victory mentality. That you are more than a conqueror. No matter what you're going through in the natural, you are more than a conqueror. No matter the situation, no matter the financial situation, no matter how you feel, you are more than a conqueror. Those who have victory mindset will never live in defeat. Those who have victory mindset, they will never live in defeat. God never called you to live in defeat. He called you to live in victory. And the revelation of God's word is the foundation for victory. If you truly want to enforce your victory, you have to know what God's word teaches. What God's word have said. You have to make God's word the foundation for your thinking, your action, your communication. By so doing, you can enforce your victory in any area of life. You can enforce your victory. And did you know when David saw Goliath? He saw him like one of those white beasts he defeated. And that mentality, when you have a victory mentality, no opposition can enslave your future. When you have a victory mentality, no opposition can enslave your future. And the word of the Lord is coming to you right now. It's time to declare your victory. Don't focus on your worries. Don't focus on the fears. Focus on your victory. The victory of Jesus is your victory. Don't focus on the limitation. Focus on your victory. Don't focus on your feeling. Focus on your victory. 
Don't focus on the humiliation. Focus on your victory. Don't focus on your financial limitation. Focus on your victory. Don't focus on what they told you that you can't do. Focus on your victory. The more you focus on your victory, the stronger you become. Those who focus on their victory don't accept intimidation. Those who focus on their victory don't think losses. They know they are more than a conqueror. Those who focus in victory will always overcome the storms of life. Focus on your victory. Stop focusing on the lies of the enemy. The enemy told you you cannot make it. Don't listen to that. The enemy told you you cannot succeed. Don't listen to that. Satan is not the right person to listen to. Neither his agents. Listen to Jesus. Listen to God's word. You are more than a conqueror. You have victory over the situation. Don't focus on what they told you you can't do. Focus on what you can do through Christ in you. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Don't focus on your limitation. Focus on your victory. Don't focus on what they said you can have. My God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That is what to focus on. Don't focus on the doctor's report that said you're going to die. No. With long life will God satisfy me? Psalm 91 verse 16. Don't focus on what they told you. Oh, you don't have money. You're nobody. No. Focus on God's word. Those who focus on God's word will produce uncommon victory. I came today to remind you, this is not a time to be looking backward. This is a time to be looking forward. There is a future ahead of you. There is a destiny ahead of you. Don't focus on your past mistakes. Focus on your strength in Christ. Don't focus on the sin you committed in the past and be guilty. Focus on God's forgiveness. Don't focus on condemnation. Focus on your righteousness. Don't focus on sin. Focus on godliness. Don't focus on lack. Focus on abundance. Don't focus on depression. Focus on the joy of the Lord. Don't focus on how you feel. Focus on what you believe. Don't focus on what the enemy told you. Focus on your liberty in Christ. Don't focus on your weakness. Focus on your strength. Focus on your strength. Focus on your strength. You are more than a conqueror. The joy of the Lord is my strength. They that do know their God will be strong and do exploits. Don't focus on the limitation they place on you. Focus on your liberty in Christ. Don't focus on I can't do it mentality. Focus on I can do it mentality. Whatever you focus on determines your future and the outcome of your life. I came today to remind you, victory is your inheritance because victory was given to you by Jesus. Victory is your inheritance. Don't settle for the alternative. Don't settle for limitation. Victory is your inheritance. Nay, in all these things, you are more than a conqueror. I'm here to remind you that destiny is in your favor. Destiny is in your favor. Don't give up on your life. Don't allow the unpiled bills to keep you unhappy. Don't allow the, unpa- the bills that are piled up to keep you unhappy. Speak to the bills. Speak to those bills. If you can say to this mountain, be that removed. Begin to talk to those bills. Those bills are paid in full. Speak to those bills. Speak to those bills. You are paid in the name of Jesus. These bills are paid in the name of Jesus. You're declaring the word. The house is paid in full. You're declaring the word. I am more than a conqueror. You're declaring the word. Speak to those bills. 
command them to be paid in full. Hallelujah. Speak to your car to be paid in full. You declare it. I am debt free. I am free from lack. I am free from want. I am free from depression. I am free from loneliness. I am free from frustration. Declare your victory. Don't bow to the situation. Declare your victory over the situation. Don't quit on God. Keep trusting. Keep keep believing. Keep sowing your seed. Keep praying in tongues. Keep reading your Bible. Keep trusting God. Keep moving forward in the work of the ministry. Don't give up. Get up. There are millions of destinies connected to your future. You can't give up now. You have come a long way. Don't quit now. Don't allow your emotion to distract you from your vision. Don't allow your emotions to distract you from your visions. Your visions are more important than how you feel. Keep going forward. Keep thinking forward. Go forward. Refuse to bow, to trial, to limitation, to temptation. Your future is better. Your best of days are ahead of you. I declare your victory. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you're blessed. I decree that you're blessed. I decree that you're blessed. Go forward. Think forward. Move forward. See forward. Your future is bigger. Your destiny is greater. The days ahead of you is better than the days behind you. You will only get better. Your future is full of possibilities. Stop getting frustrated. Stop feeling rejected. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your dreams. Celebrate every little progress you have made. Go forward. Think forward. Move forward. Don't stop here. There is greatness in you. There is an anointing on your life. This generation is waiting for you. There is greatness in you. There is potential in you. You are full of treasures. God has anointed you. God trusts you. He knew you won't fail. He trusted Joseph in Egypt. And Joseph never failed. He trusted Daniel. Daniel never failed. He trusted Nehemiah. Nehemiah never failed. God trusts you. That is why you are still alive. You are full of blessing. You are full of the anointing. Things are happening. Greater things are happening. Go forward. I prophesy to you. Peace in the storm. Peace in every situation. I decree that no more limitation. I decree no more struggle. You will fulfill your destiny. Long life is your inheritance. I speak longevity to your vision. I speak longevity to your life. Go forward. There's an anointing upon you. Glory to God. Your dreams are coming true. Your future is full of great miracles. God said, I should say this to you. He loves you. And nothing can change it. Not even you. God said he loves you. Nothing can change it. Not even you. Wake up in the love of God. Embrace it. Move forward. See forward. Believe forward. Do forward. <laughs> wow. Glory to God. You are more than a conqueror. Your best of days are ahead of you. The anointing of God's spirit is on you. You can only get better. Your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. This is your season of victory. This is your season of victory. The anointing is upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Those waiting for you to fail will watch you succeed. Those waiting to make mockery of you will see you rise like a mighty warrior. Those waiting for you to lose will see you rise like a great giant. Go forward. Victory belongs to you. Those waiting for you to make mistakes will see you perfecting all things. Go forward. There is strength in you. There is greatness in you. I prophesy to you. Multiple open doors. 
multiple opportunity, multiple preferential treatment, divine connection, divine resources, divine open door, supernatural word transfer. I release the land. I release your husband to come. I release your wife to come. I release your babies to come. I release your home to come. I speak peace to your heart. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Go forward. Your best of days have started. Multiple opportunities. Multiple favor. Multiple open doors. Multiple resources. Multiple connection. Multiple relationship. I prophesy. Harvest of increase. Harvest of rest. Harvest of open doors. Go forward. The blessing is on you. You are the seed of Abraham. You will bring forth good fruit. You will bring forth miracles. You will bring forth signs and wonder. The hand of the Lord is upon you. I heard the Lord saying, He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will bless you. The storm is over. The shame is over. The humiliation is over. It's time for celebration. Father, I thank you right now. I pray for everyone watching that your blessing keep exploding in their lives. In Jesus' name, the victory is yours. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. Glory be to God. This is all I can take for tonight. And uh, we continue. The 90 days of glory is coming to an end. I want to encourage you to be a blessing. You've been hearing God's word for 90, for many days now. Let's be a blessing. Let's say, thank you. Let's take a seat and say, man of God, I'm sowing this to, to be a blessing for the teaching for these 90 days. Be a blessing. Sow into this ground. You'll receive God's word. And uh, your life will never remain the same. And you will never remain the same. I pray for you that the blessing will be upon you. Amen. I'll be back tomorrow. Hallelujah. Encourage you to watch us on YouTube. Encourage you to watch us on YouTube. We have been teaching God's word. Today is day, day 84 of teaching the word. Day 84. I've been teaching every day. And uh, you can sow your seed at Faithman Teachings at gmail.com fitman teaching at gmail.com and uh, with your paypal fitman teaching at gmail.com with your paypal fitman teaching at gmail.com with your paypal it's good to be a blessing hallelujah and you could do through monogram if you want us to give you monogram information or western union information we you can inbox it through Facebook. You can connect with us on Facebook. And uh, it's on Facebook. My Facebook address is Faithman of Weather. That's my name on Facebook. You can connect with me on Facebook, Faithman of Weather. And uh, we'll connect with you. We can minister to you more. We love you. And uh, we'll pray the Lord strengthen you. Amen. And we'll. We are starting the School of Apostles and Prophets by next week. So stay connected. So much is coming to you from this broadcast. So we are believing God for 1,000 partners who will support the project of the School of Apostles and School of Prophets Season 2. Season 2 of the School of Prophets. So these two classes will be running every day from next week, Tuesday to Wednesday. So we encourage you to stay connected to this ministry. We love you. And your, your best of days have started. God bless you until I come your way tomorrow. Remain blessed. Greatness is in you. Hallelujah. Blessing to you. Love you. Faithmanteaching at gmail.com You can sow your seed on PayPal on faithmanteaching at gmail.com Thank you for bringing that up. Thank you very much. We love you. And please do enjoy your evening. Until I see you again tomorrow.